Most people sprinkle cumin on their food without thinking twice about it. It's just another spice in the cabinet, right? But researchers at Shahid Sadogi University of Medical Sciences discovered something that changed how we understand this ancient spice. They ran a controlled clinical trial with 88 overweight women. After 12 weeks, those who consumed just 3 grams of cumin daily lost almost triple the body fat compared to those who didn't. Same calorie intake, same nutrition counseling, same level of physical activity. The only difference? One group had cumin in their yogurt twice a day. We're not talking about a small difference here. The cumin group lost 14.64% of their body fat, while the control group lost only 4.91%. That's nearly three times more fat loss from adding a single teaspoon of spice daily. This isn't about timing tricks, special meal schedules, or complicated protocols. This is about understanding what cumin actually does inside your body at a cellular level and why most people aren't using enough of it consistently to see real, measurable results. Let me walk you through the actual research published in peer-reviewed medical journals that doctors and scientists rely on. In 2014, a groundbreaking study appeared in Complementary Therapies in Clinical Practice. Researchers at Shahid Sadugi University divided 88 overweight and obese women into two groups. Both groups received identical nutrition counseling from registered dietitians. Both were instructed to reduce their daily calorie intake by 500 calories. Both followed the same basic guidelines for healthy eating, but one group received an additional instruction, consume three grams of cumin powder mixed with yogurt split into two meals per day. That's about one level teaspoon of ground cumin total. After three months, both groups lost weight. That's expected when you reduce calories, but the cumin group lost significantly more weight overall, more importantly, they lost 14.64% of their body fat compared to just 4.91% in the control group. That's nearly three times more fat loss. Their waist circumference decreased more, their cholesterol levels improved more, their triglycerides dropped more, even their HDL cholesterol, the protective kind, increased more than the control group. This wasn't a one-off finding. Another rigorous study published in Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism in 2015 compared cumin directly against Orlistat, a prescription weight loss drug approved by medical authorities. The study included 78 overweight adults who were randomly assigned to receive either cumin capsules, Orlistat, or placebo for eight weeks. The results? Cumin performed just as well as the prescription drug for weight loss and reducing body mass index, but here's what made cumin stand out. It produced better improvements in insulin metabolism than Orlistat. Participants taking cumin showed reduced insulin levels, better insulin sensitivity markers, and improved glucose control. No prescription required, no pharmaceutical side effects, just a concentrated form of a spice humans have safely consumed for thousands of years. A third study confirmed these findings with additional metabolic benefits. When researchers gave participants cumin combined with lime for eight weeks, they observed weight loss along with improvements in markers of oxidative stress and metabolic health. These studies were randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials. That's the gold standard in medical research. The participants didn't know whether they were getting cumin or placebo. The researchers analyzing the data didn't know either until the end. This design eliminates bias and produces reliable results. Now, if you're over 35 and noticing your metabolism isn't what it used to be, this research speaks directly to your experience. Your body's ability to process carbohydrates and fats changes with age. The hormones that regulate appetite and fat storage shift. Your muscle mass naturally decreases if you're not actively maintaining it, which lowers your metabolic rate. You might eat the same portions you always have, follow the same routines, but suddenly the weight accumulates around your midsection, 
your energy crashes in the afternoon, making it hard to stay productive. You feel bloated and uncomfortable after meals that never bothered you before. Your clothes fit differently. The scale creeps up gradually, year after year. These aren't random symptoms or signs that you're lazy or undisciplined. They're physiological changes in how your body processes energy and stores fat. Your insulin sensitivity decreases, your digestive enzyme production slows down, your cells become less responsive to hormonal signals that tell them to burn fat instead of store it. This is precisely where cumin shows the most promise based on research. The women in these studies weren't elite athletes following perfect diets. They weren't fitness models with personal trainers and meal prep services. They were everyday people dealing with the same stubborn weight, energy issues, and metabolic slowdown that millions of adults face. The participants ranged in age from their 20s through their 50s. Some were slightly overweight, others were clinically obese, some had diabetes risk factors, others were relatively healthy except for excess weight, and across all these different starting points, cumin produced measurable improvements in body composition and metabolic markers. If you're a woman over 40 dealing with hormonal changes, or a man noticing decreased energy and increased belly fat, the research suggests cumin can support your metabolic health when combined with reasonable dietary choices. Let me explain exactly how cumin works inside your body, using simple terms that make sense. Think of your metabolism like a factory production line. Food arrives at the loading dock. Your body needs to make decisions. Burn this for immediate energy, store some for later, convert this to muscle, eliminate that as waste. The efficiency of these decisions depends on multiple factors working together. Cumin contains a compound called cumin aldehyde. This is the primary active ingredient responsible for cumin's distinctive aroma and flavor. But cumin aldehyde does more than add taste. Research published in pharmacology journals shows it increases the activity of digestive enzymes in your pancreas. Your pancreas produces three critical enzymes. Amylase breaks down carbohydrates, Protease breaks down proteins, and lipase breaks down fats. When these enzymes are more active and abundant, your body digests food more efficiently. Better digestion means nutrients get absorbed properly instead of fermenting in your gut. It means fats get broken down into usable components instead of being stored. It means your body extracts energy from food more effectively. More active enzymes mean better digestion. Better digestion means less fat storage, reduced bloating, and more efficient energy production from the food you eat. But cumin does something else equally important for fat loss. It contains natural plant compounds called phytosterols. These compounds have a molecular structure remarkably similar to cholesterol. When you consume phytosterols from cumin, they compete with dietary cholesterol for absorption in your intestines. Think of it like two people trying to get through the same doorway at once. The phytosterols from cumin block some of the cholesterol from your food from getting absorbed into your bloodstream. The result? Less cholesterol circulating in your blood, lower LDL levels, that's the harmful kind, and improved overall lipid profiles. Studies confirm this mechanism. Participants consuming cumin showed reduced total cholesterol, lower triglycerides, decreased LDL cholesterol, and increased HDL cholesterol, the protective kind. Cumin also has thermogenic properties, confirmed by research in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry. Thermogenesis is your body's process of generating heat. Every time your body produces heat, it burns calories to do so. Cumin slightly increases thermogenesis, meaning your body burns more calories at rest. It's not a dramatic effect like taking stimulants. You won't feel jittery or notice your heart racing. But over weeks and months, this increased calorie burning compounds with the other metabolic benefits to produce measurable fat loss. Finally, research shows cumin improves insulin sensitivity. 
Insulin is the hormone that regulates blood sugar and fat storage. When your cells are insulin sensitive, they respond efficiently to insulin signals. Glucose gets used for energy instead of being converted to fat. Your blood sugar stays stable. You don't experience the energy crashes and cravings that come with insulin resistance. The studies showing improved insulin markers suggest cumin helps your cells become more responsive to insulin. This is crucial for fat loss and especially important for people with diabetes risk factors or metabolic syndrome. Here's what people who maintain healthy weight naturally often do differently. They don't chase extreme diets or complicated supplement routines. Instead, they incorporate small, consistent habits that support their metabolism day after day. In many cultures where obesity rates are lower than Western countries, cumin and similar spices are consumed daily, not in tiny amounts, but in meaningful quantities with meals. It's not coincidence that these populations also show lower rates of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes. You can become someone who supports their metabolism naturally, someone who makes informed choices based on research, not trends, someone who understands their body and works with it instead of against it. This isn't about perfection. It's about adding evidence-based tools to your routine. Let's break down what the research actually shows about how much cumin you need. In the Iranian study with 88 women, participants consumed 3 grams of cumin powder per day. That's roughly 1 teaspoon, split into 2 servings with yogurt. They took this for 12 weeks while maintaining a moderate calorie deficit. The results weren't just about weight on the scale. Participants showed reduced waist circumference, lower body fat percentage, decreased cholesterol and triglycerides, improved HDL, or good cholesterol, and better fasting blood sugar control. Another study tested 300 milligrams of cumin extract in capsule form, taken three times daily for eight weeks. Participants lost an average of 1.1 kilograms, about 2.4 pounds, and showed improved insulin sensitivity compared to placebo. The key finding across studies? Cumin works best when combined with reasonable calorie reduction and taken consistently over weeks, not days. Research published in pharmacology journals shows cumin's active compounds are absorbed through the digestive tract and influence multiple metabolic pathways. They don't just pass through your system, they interact with enzyme production, hormone signaling, and fat metabolism. So how do you actually use this information? First, understand that cumin isn't magic. It won't override a diet of processed foods and sedentary habits. But when combined with reasonable eating and basic activity, it can enhance your results significantly. The effective dose from research is 3 grams of cumin powder daily. That's about 1 teaspoon. You can split this into 2 servings of half a teaspoon each mixed into food or drinks. Some practical ways to incorporate cumin, mix half a teaspoon into Greek yogurt or kefir twice daily, add to vegetable soups and stews, blend into smoothies with protein powder, season roasted vegetables or grilled proteins, make cumin water by soaking seeds overnight, then drinking in the morning. The research doesn't specify that timing during the day matters. What matters is consistency. Taking cumin daily over several weeks allows the compounds to build up and influence your metabolism. One important note, buy quality cumin. Look for organic whole seeds and grind them yourself, or purchase fresh cumin powder from reputable sources. Old, stale cumin loses its active compounds and won't deliver the same benefits. Most people make these errors when trying to use cumin for weight loss. Mistake 1. Taking too little. A pinch of cumin in your food occasionally won't produce the effects seen in research. You need consistent daily doses of around 1 teaspoon. 
Mistake 2. Expecting instant results. The studies showing fat loss benefits lasted 8 to 12 weeks. Your body needs time to respond to the metabolic changes cumin creates. Mistake 3. Using cumin alone without addressing diet quality. Cumin enhances metabolism, but it cannot overcome a diet consistently high in processed foods and excess calories. Mistake 4. Poor quality cumin. Not all spices are created equal. Fresh, high-quality cumin contains more active compounds than old products sitting on shelves for months. Mistake 5. Inconsistency. Taking cumin sporadically won't produce results. The research shows benefits come from daily consumption over weeks. Cumin is generally recognized as safe when consumed in amounts typically used in cooking. The doses tested in research, 3 grams daily, are higher than culinary use, but still well tolerated by most people. However, some considerations, if you're on diabetes medication, monitor blood sugar closely as cumin may lower glucose levels. Cumin may slow blood clotting, so consult your doctor if you're on blood thinners. Pregnant women should stick to culinary amounts and avoid supplements. Some people experience mild digestive upset when first increasing cumin intake. As with any dietary change, especially if you have existing health conditions or take medications, consult with your healthcare provider before adding therapeutic doses of cumin to your routine. Here's what I want you to do. If this information makes sense to you and you're ready to try a research-backed approach to supporting your metabolism, start with a simple plan. Get quality cumin powder or whole seeds. Add one teaspoon daily to your meals, split into two servings if that's easier. Track how you feel over the next four weeks. Notice your energy, digestion, and how your clothes fit. If you found this valuable, leave a comment saying yes, so I know this resonated with you. Share this with someone who's been struggling with stubborn weight and looking for evidence-based solutions. Subscribe if you want more content like this. No hype, no miracle promises, just research-backed information about natural ways to support your health. Your body responds to consistent, science-based approaches. Cumin is one tool among many. Use it wisely and give it time to work. Thanks for watching.